To put it simply, in this process we add extra copper to the panel, only where we want it, as we continue to define the outer layer circuitry. This is another electrolytic plating process, adding copper only to the areas exposed during the outer layer imaging and developing, including through the holes, ensuring the final plating thickness meets either NCAB's requirement of an average 25 microns through hole, or aligns with the customer's surface thickness preferences should they have a specification beyond the NCAB requirement. Once the additional copper has been plated, then a deposit of tin is applied on top of the plated copper in the same pattern to protect the plated copper underneath during the subsequent processes. We check and audit the control of all plating parameters, including the process control for all of the chemistry and the setup of plating currents which determine deposit rates. Ensuring a uniform deposit can be a challenge due to design with isolated external areas potentially plating higher. The right setup on plating flight bars is important as our thickness deposit checks to ensure good levels of plating uniformity are achieved across all panels. Final plating thickness is verified through microsections and non-destructive methods.